agriculture, but we need knowledge on technology, how it should be utilized and which are the area, potential area we can adapt it in our agriculture subsectors. That is the most important area as an agribusiness student we look for. Now we are connecting with directly to the industrial uh, uh, entrepreneurs, those who are dealing with agri agri based product. Because uh, Koimatur, maybe Bangalore doesn't have any constraint connecting with such kind of entrepreneurs. And we must be having incubation center in our universities also. And you take a glimpse what how they are doing. We have 32 incubate, incubate in our uh, uh, university, three years of uh, agriculture. It's very unfortunate. And they are addressing and dealing with agri and agri products. Maybe we are lacking confidence or we, have we don't have strength to address the issue related to agri business or agri allied business. But you should take up challenge and work on those areas. There are many tools now. We, we may require one, maybe technocrat for uh, addressing such kind of issues. Now we are connecting with RV College, RV Engineering College. The third year and final year students, they are developing many tools for uh, use in agriculture. Because just only agriculture and agribusiness cannot, and we need some supporting or aligning <coughs> to sync our business with open economy. That's why we are linking with some graduates, IT graduates of other colleges with our student. We are requesting and writing if they are in internship, we will also collaborate with them and asking them to develop some tools or models or maybe <coughs> advanced technology for implementation in agriculture. Now our engineering students, they are most uh, uh, proximity to agriculture. And now, uh, this uh, Exagon, you must have heard, German company, now they are invested in our university with the cost of 110 crore project. And mostly they are having this Center for Innovation in Development of Ag Sustainable Agriculture. That is usage of drone in agriculture, IoT in agriculture, Christian farming in agriculture. Now we are li under, uh, linking with our, our student, with agribusiness student, with particularly engineering student, because we can get something from them. They have basic technology, and what are the data they required? You can supply to them. Maybe related to consumers, consumption pattern, maybe <clears throat> may requirement of market demand, then market size. You can just. Uh, support to them for providing such kind of data. Then they easily build a models. That's why I request students can also involve. You, you may fail, failing in uh, first attempt, second attempt, and third attempt. You join together, maybe engineering, even agriculture, because you think only agribusiness. They are also thinking agriculture. How you can sync with these two allied subjects? That, that would be your uh, motto. And always uh, university or uh, our institutes are committed to produce high quality graduates, not just uh, giving certificate. You must understand. You should have a skill set or knowledge improvement over a period of time. You might be getting sufficient time here because most of them are put in hostels, I hope. Or otherwise also, we will get sufficient time for developing your skills. That's why always the university under NAHEP also, we are investing a lot on strengthening up human resources. Lot of uh, ICR support, even state government grants, even university is supporting for conducting many programs, advanced trainings to our student. As our university, maybe TNU is uh, more better than U.S. Bangalore because it's single university in the state. We have separate skill development center. Fortunately, in our university, I am adding that is director skill development center. We, every year, 
we conduct 60 to 70 training program for student 50% farmers 50% that to focus on women farmers here also 50% of the training are only for <coughs> conducting training now rangnath is conducting he was a student of this college he is conducting tableau altrix and uh, bi applications and simultaneously he is conducting business analytics by using data many that's why maybe students are benefited more and about their degree program <coughs> no doubt uh, particularly farm universities are rich in resources don't think only money you have facilities i don't think uh, such kind of uh, option you will get in private university or other, other university everything will be charged here they have a, a nominal fees for us fees for our student that's why you take benefit of maybe experts in the area of different subject maybe make utilization of your facility and you strengthen only our investment on you only it may be tnu or any other university it's just your growth is our growth only with this i would like to just give a overview of blockchain in agriculture and agri business and here uh, mostly <coughs> there are many you when you talk about uh, blockchain it is a shared and uh, immutable ledger it is just a, a manual ledger who are uh, developing a soft version of this ledger and that facilitate the process of recording transaction and tracking assets in business network because uh, we may lose sometimes uh, <coughs> a ledgers physically maintained and here it is systematic uh, process of recording transactions and you may come across any default or errors immediately pop up in the blockchain and tracking assets in business network because everything cannot be written and uh, maintained but here you have a multiple nodes and you can target and uh, track and you store it and uh, particularly blockchain technology was uh, very recently emerged and uh, during 2008 as a core component of bitcoin crypto currency this was introduced uh, beginning then blockchain provides a transactional distributed ledger functionality that can operate without need for centralized trusted authority there are different kinds of blockchain who come across and it is a robust and decentralized functionality of blockchain is very attractive for use with the global financial system but can easily be expanded to contracts or operations such as tracking of global supply chain also here we have a blockchain can work ledger distribution transaction confirmation proof of work result you know many bankers also they are using not blockchain maybe some other tools or other technology and easily <coughs> they can identify you just earlier days if you want to generate atm pin how it was difficult now with a fraction of minute you will get a otp then you have your own choice to change and or fix or put a your atm pin that's why now technologies are not constrained now they have advanced features and how you utilize that's very important there are disadvantages too also and you should have awareness how to use it this technologies that's very important the features of blockchain here distributed database of records in the form of encrypted blocks it may be smaller data sets to a larger scale or a public ledger of all transaction or digital events each transaction in public ledger is verified by consensus of majority of the participant in the system and once entered information can never be erased that is a, a beauty of blockchain because before that you can have a correction and a, a error modification but once you enter it cannot be removed or taken away 
this is accomplished without compromising the privacy of the digital assets or parties involved because they are not ordinary people those who are using this blockchain but only trained or maybe skilled people can only use and this technology uses mathematical problems that requires the substantial computational power to solve they are highly talented or maybe utilize this technologies how does the blockchain works here when you have a transaction is requested and a block that represents the transaction in the mechanism of for this blockchain transaction is requested a block that represents the transaction is created then blockchain sent to every node in the network then it follows the nodes validate the transactions followed by nodes receive the reward for the proof of work authenticity is very important here a block is added to the existing blockchain then transaction is completed this is how this works this is the flow chart of this blockchain mechanism and here <coughs> jinsi sa block when you are creating some transaction block will be created and that will be <coughs> latest block will take care of moving to node like uh, there are different block one block two any number of block can be created by individuals when you are into the transaction then do we have a different types of blockchain here one is public blockchain here we have a less permission in nature allow anyone to join and completely decentralized now the zoom is working in that same uh, who can have a control over at one end or sometimes you can allow them to join individually when you have a public system we will allow them to join everyone when it is very personalized we will not allow them to join independently we will control at one point or one <coughs> single point that's how here also if it is a open to public and permission less in nature allow anyone to join or completely decentralized public blockchain allow all nodes of the blockchain to have equal rights to access the blockchain particularly this works in major cooperative banks they have some rights to different members shareholders or members they will allow them to have exercise their function or maybe their rights and here <coughs> two common examples of public chains includes bitcoin and uh, ethereum blockchains that is the how they started with the public institutions then private blockchains as i mentioned here it has a very stringent permission <coughs> formalities here people who want to join require permission from the system administrator they are typically governed by one entity meaning <coughs> they are centralized that means they cannot have access to other members uh, until unless you authorize to them or enter into the node and for example hyperledger is a private permissioned blockchain here this is highly fabricated with a uh, uh, lot of restrictions anybody cannot join in the business entity or maybe they cannot exercise their power here it will be authorized person by the single party can be allowed to enter into the market or business then we have a consortium blockchain here permissioned blockchains governed by group of organizations rather than one entity in case of private blockchain here like particularly some institution they follow such kind of <coughs> consortium means we have a association between two or three organization they can have only a group of people can or uh, administrator can uh, allow them to exercise their power in the business then hybrid blockchains here this is the amalgamation of both private and public it depends on the nature of work or maybe ppp mode they operates <coughs> here we have a both controlled by one authority with some permissionless process in case of hybrid but as private it is controlled by one authority and public no central authority anybody can only member large member can join and operate 
consortium controlled by group it is not individual maybe two three people can sit and have a, their pin code then they can operate blockchain then key key principles of blockchain technology here blockchain in the <coughs> blocks in the blockchain peer to peer network particularly distributed immediately replicated files there can be n number of files can be created here then consensus algorithm then cryptographic signature is important and smart contracts these are the uh, particularly blockchain technology have control over no third party involvement here and there could be a transparency trusted transactions data security that's why this blockchain is not so popular in every field that's the reason they have very limited usage in a particular areas and <coughs> mostly public or public organization not so immediately implemented this blockchain because there is a lot of transparency in this for example we have a e office e office can be implemented through blockchain but we are not going for that because everybody can watch and ward on your file if i created a file i can have control there is a time bound in particular file movement if i putting extra time holding that file i have to explain if i am unable to explain then there are many repercussion that's why this is not uh, implemented in the largely in public institutions or public organizations but private they have more <coughs> aptly they have used in many organizations because they have time bond they have efficiency with time that's why this is not uh, becoming so popular in the field of public institutions or organizations as compared to private and consortium mode why do agriculture sector need undergo technological transformation satisfy the demands of growing population for more high quality food just i will tell one example earlier if you want to purchase a food night time and it is very difficult to get it now round the year round the clock round the year any time you can have a access to food and there is no restriction of your place you need only internet connectivity is it that's what uh, now this <coughs> this technology transmission of bought lot of changes in our life that's why this advanced technology solution to meet changing consumer needs encouraging sustainable agriculture practices and lower environmental footprints this how this agriculture is impacting earlier a food grains only physically used to sell now you can order grocery all the grocery will come sometimes we used to postpone because we were inability to reach the stores now you don't required how agriculture can be made sustainable for using technology means you have option means you can purchase lot you need not to go physically and any age group people can purchase earlier days it won't happens like that if you are able to carry then only used to go physically and get the material in any quantity now you have a different quantity different amount you can purchase earlier we used to my maybe father our grandfather used to go play this city market once in a while maybe 10 days or maybe 15 days they used to purchase all together they used to come now it is not the case this technology have been changed if i want to 1 kg i can order it i can get it this is how how technology can change the agriculture scenario means this is how it has been changed now food system or maybe food grain system or food pattern consumption pattern everything has been changed now it has impact on sustainability on agriculture it is so or not students can tell they can order night time even after 8 8 o'clock 9 o'clock you can get food earlier days it was not happened like that even running this food courts or maybe hotels 
it was difficult after 8 9 o'clock now they are running round the year round the clock this is how the it has impact on agriculture and uh, decrease agriculture supply chain costs also that is the most important establish and follow the sanitary and phytosanitary standards if it is export and import then sustain pro this port, portable operations of farm lands and agri business earlier used to you must have seen this last time also i quoted this example jagdishwaran jagdishwaran in chennai sir nallakira how they are operating that is the best example for sustainable agriculture they grow almost 10 to 15 leafy vegetables greens and they are supplying almost 4 to 5000 families in chennai and with the traceability model i can access where they are producing how they are producing this is how blockchain works now they are advanced in supplying many materials food grains particularly food, groceries apart from fruits and vegetables perishables you just you google it nallakira then you will get to know how they are supplying it <coughs> and increase the income of small farms private farms as well as fruit producers this is the just uh, demand for information about food over a period of time it is enormous changes in the requirement of food as well as different cost compliances also particularly <clears throat> do not want to know most of the time you will come to know many things about the food quality sanitary phytosanitary measures and traceability pattern this is how you can have a <clears throat> information uh, information about food then increase in percent growth of major crops this is one example technology how it was transfer, transformed because uh, uh, wheat production and rice production it's a one example just uh, earlier days uh, they used to store and uh, distribute to some other only some pockets of the country now uh, you can come to know what is the quantity available in the fci or uh, warehouses the even state governments also indenting advance they are getting it. and due to that there is a indent based production system that has been enhanced the production across the country and in particularly <coughs> black chain in agriculture improving the operating process and get profitable result sustainable business and reduction of waste then smart agriculture who can think of utilization of natural resources very optimally and decrease of environmental impact through execution of ict blockchain and other <clears throat> modern technology for gathering and analyzing data because uh, now you can see the christian farming will we we'll, you can use very appropriate uh, dose of nutrients we need not to disproportionately use in agriculture any chemicals or pesticides or fertilizers you will come to know what is the requirement for plant accordingly you can supply that's how this advanced smart agriculture works in the field this is a potential of black chain in agriculture as you know a growing population and growing pattern of income may be food consumption it's keep on changing over a period of time this potentiality of black chain <coughs> across the country and reducing the food waste and there are many advantages to by using this black chain then there are uh, circular economy don't think those who are using blockchain or advanced technology they will be benefited circular economy everyone will be benefited and everyone should benefit get benefit of that technology and uh, thinking that otherwise i would have supplied only 10 people now through use of this technology it will reaching to thousands of people my margin is keep on increasing over a period of time that's why this how the technology can help you to get more and more benefit across the maybe <coughs> section of population you may be farmer you may be consumer you may be a retailer wholesaler purchaser whoever may be in circular economy everybody will be benefited by using this potentiality of 
this technology and influencing uh, your total sustainability and the current supply chain it was very restricted as i mentioned now we could see by using technology and there are many options and avenues for this usage of <coughs> technology then there are uh, suppliers producers processors distributors customers retailers consumers this is agriculture supply chain this are distributed ledger technology this is how fao already given many advantages of uh, all the uh, technology usage in agriculture then impact of uh, <coughs> this blockchain technology in agriculture particularly simplifying all stages of agriculture supply chain there are many models uh, just i will tell you how they are using tracking the product along its entire path from farmland to store shelf now earlier now they have a <coughs> tracking mechanism of uh, refer vans or maybe cold uh, chain vans how they are moving how much their time taking this everything can be tracked now they have a hub of uh, uh, send up uh, this spoke and hub models also they store vegetables somewhere and they distribute the different pockets of this city this is how they are tracking and here entire <coughs> when it moves from farm to consumers everything can be tracked what is the time for example if you supply next day there is a loss of maybe freshness or maybe quality and ultimately it has impact on your value of commodity if it is a perishable if it is a non perishable it is okay but you need to reach immediately now we don't want to wait that's why everything can be tracked by using this bct improving food safety and eliminating uh, <coughs> counterfeit items then reducing the financial risk and promoting inclusive trade you are uh, reducing the financial risk means see earlier you know this uh, maggi pockets earlier it was used to available only 40 rupees or maybe half uh, that is 1 kg half kg now we have 5 rupees pockets also in rural areas here you could see how much money you can save you? until unless you required that's fine otherwise earlier one kg used to bring we will not use all the one kg pocket now small and very nuclear family requires maybe small quantity because of this requirement indented by individuals can be reached to and if i want 10 rupees pocket only i will purchase 10 rupees 10 rupees pocket only if i want 20 rupees i will purchase 20 rupees pocket many, many commodity has been changed like that that's why the reduction of financial risk could observe in this transformation then providing farmers and business with access to agriculture financial services in turn they are also benefited borrowing credit from different institutions and generating smarter market data for better decision making with the data science in agriculture that's why business is growing every day we come to know how many <coughs> for total consumers what is the market size again we have a demography you have a age group because each and every one requires different kinds of consumption or maybe uh, for, for product some people prefer such kind of product everything can be tracked or uh, collected this uh, data it depends on the nature of product or maybe type of consumption type of population this is how this <coughs> generating smarter market data is very important and that can be used in all the technology particularly you can use crop and food production food supply chain controlling weather crises managing agriculture finance you can take any areas this agriculture particularly uses of blockchain in agriculture can be adapted the crop and food production how it is helpful catering to the needs of the increasing population reducing environmental footprint maximizing customer satisfaction enabling transparency across supply chain this is a common phenomena when you are using advanced technology in 
different uh, sectors of your uh, agriculture or uh, food economy like uh, <coughs> year regenerative agriculture satellite remote sensing data then there are, there are many automated incentive for regenerative stewardship particularly this agriculture practices can adopt this blockchain technology then detailed process of how blockchain can transform the way of producing crops or food items iot devices generating data cleaning and enrichment of collected data making data more insightful with machine learning algorithms data gets saved on the blockchain like food supply chain also same process maybe different stage it differs with food supply chain also then controlling weather crisis also and to have a different features it is inbuilt in the blockchain sorry and managing agriculture finance and trade here also very largely used in many private uh, financial institutions then traditional and blockchain model as you see now importer exporter and uh, particularly earlier it was uh, <coughs> very limited usage now uh, letter letter of credit process traditional model was blockchain model yeah, now it is increased over a period of time usage of credit also by the farmers as well as users uh, uh, that's how uh, this particularly encrypted documents smart contracts to automated payment system has been made now if i want to change my credit limit i has to go i has to produce a lot of papers now it is don't required if you have a credit card or debit card you have a encrypted uh, some codes you pin it then you can get it a credit card can be easily enhance your credit limit by clicking with encrypted uh, maybe some otps otherwise uh, it would not have possible earlier it was many now farmers also some very registered uh, uh, farmers can have a, such kind of financial services from the different uh, private institutions and it also definitely it helps uh, to small farmers as i mentioned food traceability how they are producing what is the quantity they are producing where they are producing reduced transaction cost and fair pricing because now indian based uh, production system has been evolved you need not to go <coughs> farmers should not go to market now there are suppliers there are uh, this pooling centers they collect and they will bring to the market based on the indian based production they will inform to farmers they produce and that's how they are getting fair price as well as more transaction and reduces human error also then better access to financial grants and loans as i said used in crop insurance also particularly there are more and more farmers are opting crop insurance due to enhanced their financial strength and abilities and there are advantages transparency as i mentioned smart logistics and litigation free leasing or registration of lands gain new markets over a period of time then barriers to blockchain adaptability <coughs> regulatory there are uncertainty lack of trust among users ability to once you understand then there is lot be much problem it's a only a awareness or maybe a <coughs> understand the uh, uses of this uh, technologies the market size also increased over a period of time that is by 2032 it will be a cager of almost 50% the tracex blockchain as i said increasing consumer trust and loyalty reduces the overheads of the product recalls and achieve the sustainability goals ensure food safety by using traceability tracex then uh, now there are some companies they are using this already blockchain technology because they have n number of product across the market not only domestic even international market they are <coughs> easy to uh, trace their uh, uh, product where it is going how who are all consumers uh, where it is moving what is the quantity it is, mo it is moving everything can be traced and uh, take the accounts of their product through this technology and uh, there are other companies as i mentioned there are a number of companies they are already adopted because they are aggressive and uh, very proactive in the market and uh, they are just like uh, as i mentioned agri 
10x also already using this co agri digital cooperative protocol for agriculture then walmart uh, also they are already using particularly uh, <coughs> Uh, they started 2021 DL freight with 70% uh, of invoice were disrupted, uh, disputed. Today, less than 1% of the invoices have uh, discrepancy, and uh, as well as disputes are easily flagged and quickly resolved. Then, uh, here interaction diagram of proposed fish farm platform based on blockchain. These are some examples. Uh, this you can go through in blockchain tech network how it works then existing product flaws and soybean supply because the major uh, like itc and all they are already using it this is also uh, ethereum smart contracts contract system it is used before uh, conclusion just i would like to say any technology has uh, advantage and disadvantage don't think other part but you Get awareness about the technology and adapt properly. There will not be much problem. Even now, there is a lot of uh, cheating in banking transactions. Even though there are many times uh, information circulated, don't give OTP. Even then, sometimes uh, by human error, we are giving to them. That's why we should create much awareness and uh, adaptability and suitability of the technology that has positive turns usually and don't think negative of any technology with this i would like to conclude uh, this blockchain technology is one of the tool to re re you can reap the advantage of this technology in agriculture and allied sector of our economy with this i thanks to each and everyone if you have any just discussion or clarification because it, it is just I'm giving overview and if you want to see how it is working, you should have a hands-on training with the private organization, even public institutions, go and learn and you can call some of the people uh, even uh, how they are using it in their day-to-day -day business. You can have a hands-on training with them. This is just I'm giving a brief uh, background about now we have called uh, Dr. Anag sir, our uh, Anag Satnana is a uh, entrepreneur. How this different technology is using in agri agri business is teaching our student. Land record, no, Karnataka also sir, Karnataka also. Bumi, now they are using RTC generation. Now, most of the time now with this cost certificate income certificate we need not to go to uh, this block and tassil now we can generate because they have given a code rd code sir now we, even uh, if i my this one is uh, <coughs> uh, expired but there are some uh, conditions we have to fulfill we have to upload other card and all and to use this uh, now nad is uh, they are using sir national academic depository uh, now, the certificate your students should not go to university and generate their certificate. Now, NAD also, and now how much you, you must have uploaded already. Now, ne next new certificate you need not to. Uh, within the university, you can have e office, sir. E office uh, already we have adapted. <laughs> Bangalore, US Bangalore is adapted e office. Actually, if I want to go tour, just I write to in my next level. Otherwise, just they are going institution, they are understanding what the institution objectives and activity. That's why we thought let they should understand farmers issues first, then you can attest to institution. We have changed the little uh, our otherwise our students also three months they used to go stay in the banks or maybe institution uh, cooperative institutions. They just learn only their perspective not uh, actually farmers perspective the issue is related to farmers that's why now we are attaching with uh, two to three students with the agri student we have identified 17 villages for agriculture for uh, along with the agriculture student three students compulsorily they have to go and understand the farmers issues related to marketing processing 
valuation, branding, how they are uh, come across many issues related to after production system. They are all transferring technology. They have uh, crop museum exhibitions by the agriculture student. This is how even we have many inputs from university like seeds, maybe this compost and all. They don't know farmers. That's why we were just taking them to. Uh,